since the dead rose and attacked the world of the living. At first, the survivors seemed to have the upper hand. Zombies were dangerous but slow. Working together, people were able to fight back against the shambling hordes. And then, the first full moon came after the outbreak. The slow moving hordes of undead became raving, screaming maniacs, running down the living with a speed and ferocity that was unimaginable. Initially, the moon frenzy lasted as long as the full moon did. Recently, however, they seemed to last longer and some zombies even start to frenzy on the nights feeding up to the full moon. Survivors now know to hunker down in a safe location and wait for the shrieking dead to stop and go back to their shambling existence. That's what you are prepared to do when your hideout got overrun by the dead. Now you are scrambling to gather enough supplies to last the full moon frenzy before the screaming dead come for you. Hi guys, Andy here again from Mad Lad Designs with another in the print and play series. And this time we are going to be looking at Z Deck by Chris Fee. You have to gather supplies and try and survive till the end of the deck. So, what do you need to play? Well, I've got everything in here. Put those to one side for now. Of course, you are going to need the instructions. It is one sheet because the game is fairly easy to play. And then you have 54 cards. Let's see if I need to get these out. You have 54 of these cards. And each card is laid out the same way. And I'll explain as we play what all of these things mean. Okay, you are also going to need somewhere to record your lives and how many supplies you have. You can use pen and paper to jot it down. However, I've got loads of tokens and bits and pieces so I may as well use them. You are going to need something, six lives. I'm using these glass beads. And you also need something to represent supplies. These are what we're gonna gather and we're trying to get as many of them as possible before the deck runs out. So I'm going to place those there for now. So you do not start off with any supplies. You do start with six lives. So you just shuffle the deck. And as usual I will put links to the print and play files in the description as well as to the forums on Board Game Geek. Once you're set up like that, that's it, set up, you are ready to play. And you play the game by turning over a card. And what you are going to be looking at immediately is this section here. Okay, this is a test that we need to pass. If we pass this test, we will get this reward. So if we pass this fight three, we will get two supplies. So how do we pass a test? Well, you need to get that number or higher using these in the top corners, okay? This is run, so you will have a run test or you will have a fight test. Okay, that's the two tests you will have, run or fight. In this instance, it's a fight and we need three or more. However, we do not look at the same icon here that's on the same card. What we are going to do is we're going to be turning other cards over to try and get this score. Okay, so we want a fight of three. Now we can turn over between one and three cards to see if we can get this number or higher. Okay, so 
I want a fight of three. Um, I think I will turn over, so it's between one and three cards I can turn over. Uh, I think I'll turn over three cards. One, two, three. So I'm going to turn over these three cards, and because it's fight, because it's fight, we are looking at these icons in this top corner. We're going to completely ignore everything else on the card. We are just using these to see if we can get that test. So we need three or more. We have a zero, we have a two, but we have a minus one. So that means uh, we only have one fight test. Because two minus one, obviously, because we add all these together, two minus one is one. We needed three. So we are too short of this, this test. And for however many short you are of a test, that's how much life you are going to lose. Um, so I am too short. So I am going to lose two lives. I did not pass the test, so I'm not going to get any supplies. There's nothing else I can do with these cards. So once you've turned these cards over from this deck for a test, nothing else matters on these cards, just these here. These are then discarded and you just carry on. So again, we're going to turn over. Let's see what test we've got. Right, we have a double line, which means we are going to look at this bit here. So draw a card. In fact, I'm going to put these down like this. And it says, draw a card. And if the fight value is higher, take one damage. If the run value is higher, lose one supply. If they are the same, there is no effect. So we're going to draw a card and we're going to look at the two values in the top. And we can see, if I get this in the camera, that um, the three, the run value is higher than the fight value. So it says here, if the run value is higher, lose one supply. Well, I don't have any supplies to lose. So there's nothing I can do about it. We have now completed that task there, and these are discarded. Next we have this one, again, double line, but if we succeed, we do get a supply. So, if you have a weapon, discard it. Draw a card, if the fight value is higher than the run value, take a point of damage. Okay, so I'm going to draw a card. And is the fight value higher than the run value? Well, they're both the same because they're both minus one. So we're not going to lose any damage, but we do get a supply. Our first supply, hey! <laughs> now these are then discarded. Turn over. Run two, and it has a, an asterisk. So basically we are going to be looking at this section up here as, as well and it says failure causes a loss of a supply for each point failed rather than gaining a wound. Interesting. So if we do not, if we are unsuccessful, every point we are unsuccessful by we are going to lose a supply instead of losing a, a life. So I am going to between one and three cards I can turn over and I am going to turn over two cards. So we're looking at the run value here. Two and two is four, which is definitely more than the two. So we will get one supply. And then we will put these cards off to the side and then we draw another card. Fight three. If you resolve this event, you may draw for equipment. Okay, so I am going to choose three cards. And I need to get a fight of three or more. Up in the top corner. And I've only got two. 
Uh, okay, so I have failed that test. So I do not get the supplies and I do not get the opportunity to draw for equipment. But let's say I did pass that test and I need to draw for equipment. Okay, and I'm going to put those to one side and I'm going to pretend this was on the top so I'm not looking at this next card. Let's say I completed the test uh, and I can draw for equipment. You draw the next card off the top of the deck and the equipments you may have noticed are on the bottom here. You can only keep one equipment at a time. So at any time it asks you to draw for equipment, you will draw a card off the deck and then flip it over. So it's this side. However, I did not succeed. So this all goes away. Now you may be thinking, well why not draw three cards every turn? Because <laughs> you'll get more chance then of getting a higher score. Well, you certainly can. There's nothing stopping you doing that. However, you'll be burning through more cards, which gives you less opportunity to gather more supplies. So it's up to you. You can do three cards every turn, but you're going to go straight through the deck without the opportunity of getting extra supplies. Right, so we have a choice. Fight or run. It's up to us. We can pick either one. Uh, and I will pick the, the fight. And I can draw between one and three cards. I'm going to draw two. We have the fight of two. If we look we have a three and a one, four, which is more than a two. So these are discarded because we're only using the cards for the test. However, we get nothing. Even though we've passed the test, we don't get a thing. Nice. <laughs> and this is how you play the game. You just keep going. Um, run two. But again, we look here. If you take any damage from a failed test, take one additional point of damage. So I will choose two cards and look at the run value in the top left. And we have a three and a zero, but the three is more than the two. So we have passed that test and we gain a supply. And then we keep going. For each point of damage suffered, lose one supply okay fight two or run two um, let's go with the fight two and I'm going to take two cards so we're looking at the top right that's five three and two is five more than the two so all these are discarded but we don't get anything right zombie kids Count any card with an even fight value as a fight value of zero. Alright. Uh, let's go with the test. Well, I'll take three cards this time. So anything with an even value is... Oh, we might get away with it. Because this is an even value, it's counted as zero, so that I can discard that. That's got an even value. That's counted as zero, so that doesn't count at all. We do, however, have a fight of three, which is more than the two. So these are discarded, and we get a supply. <laughs> Next one, infected wound. If you are not at full health, discard two supplies or take another damage. Oh, um, uh, ooh. lose a health or lose two supplies. If you ever lose all your health, obviously it's game over. If you lose all your supplies, it doesn't matter. You can get more supplies as you go further down the deck. So I'm going to lose two supplies. Right. Move to the next one. Too many of them. We don't have that many bullets. So it's a run three test. So I'm going to take three cards. Just to make sure. 
and we have three, four, five, six, more than enough. So then we're discarded and we can take one supply. Turn over the next one. Rooftop run. Subtract one from your run total if you have any equipment. Well, I have no equipment, so I don't need to subtract one. Uh, it is run three. Is it worth me getting three cards? I'm going to take three cards, I am. And we're looking at the run value. Two, four, six. More than the three. So we get the supply. Discarded. Unlooted home. If you resolve this event, you may draw for equipment. Let's take three cards then, see if we can do it. And we're looking at the fight value. Three and four, yes, we've done it. That's only three. We get two supplies. And we also get an equipment. So again, we draw the next card, turn it over. We're looking at the equipment and we get a flare gun. Add one to a fight total or spend three supplies to automatically pass a flight, uh, sorry, a fight test and then discard after use. Okay, so that's for me and I will put that there for now and keep that. You can only ever have one equipment card. That has been done. Moving on. Survivors. Add one supply if you successfully resolve the next card. Okay, so after that goes to one side and we have to do the next card. Dead End Alley. Fight three. I'm going to take three cards. Oh, oh. Hmm. Add one to a fight total. Or spend three supplies to automatically pass a fight test. So I could use three supplies to pass this automatically, which will then give me one supply, but because of this, <laughs> I will get two supplies. So what's the point of spending three to get two back? So I am just going to use three cards, and we're looking at the fight value. Um, uh, two, zero, zero. We didn't get the three, however, I can add one to the fight value and then discard this card, and which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to discard this card to add one to my totals here, making it three. And then we discard it. So I've got the three, I get one supply, but due to this card, I am going to get another supply. So two supplies. And both these cards are then discarded. Turn over this. Zombie Poodles. A fight two or a run four. I think I'm going to go for the fight. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to take just two cards this time. Yes, more than enough. Five, more than enough than the two. I get one supply. All these are then discarded. I've only got three cards left. So, turn this one over. Stumble. If you have an equipment card, discard it without effect. You may not discard the equipment to activate it. Well, I don't have an equipment card, so I can't discard it. Um, I don't get any supplies or anything, so nothing is going to happen due to me stumbling over my own feet. <laughs> Next card. If you resolve this card, gain a number of supplies equal to the last drawn card's run value for the minimum of zero. Okay, so the last card drawn, I'll take that off the... Where's the stumble card? Okay, so we gain a number of supplies equal to the last drawn card's run value. There's the run value. If the run value was one or less, you may draw for equipment. Okay, so if I... Past this, I'm looking at this number then, and because it's less than, was it one? 
I'm going to be able to draw an equipment card, which is the last card of the deck. Um, but of course I'm going to use this card to try and pass this test. So I've only got one card left to try and pass a fight test of two. And we get a fight test of three. Nice. So that three passes that two. Which is discarded. That is less than one, so I would have drawn an equipment card, but I don't have any cards to draw. This is then discarded. And that's it. The game is over. And you just count up your supplies. Two, four, six, eight, nine. I have nine supplies. And the whole idea of the game is when you play it again, is to try and beat your highest score. So there you go, guys. That's how quick and simple that was, Z deck. Fight your way through the cards. So just to recap what a card is and what it looks like. Uh, let's grab this one instead. Looking here, this is the test you've got to pass. You do that by drawing off the face down deck between one and three cards and looking at that particular area. So fight, you would draw two cards, turn them over, just and look at the fight values, or three cards, or one card, it's up to you. If you pass, you can get supplies. If there's any text up here, that's more than just flavour text. Let me just grab some, here we go. You see, up here, this is just flavour text. And you can tell the difference. So look here, this will tell you things to do. If you succeed, then grabbing equipment card, you will take the card, face down card off the deck, flip it over then turn it round and that is your equipment. And it will also show you different things up here in the corner, but this will tell you exactly what these mean when you're doing it. There you go, Z Deck by Chris Fee. Dead simple, dead easy, dead quick. Um, I will put links to all the relevant bits and pieces in the description below. Thanks for joining me guys and I will catch you guys later.